Hi everyone, it's Hydrofoam here and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Shares with the Sodium mod in Minecraft 1.19 and now without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and download the ID Shares mod and the download link is in the description down below. Go ahead and click on download universal jar and then once you finish installing the iris installer, double click on it and it's going to show this pop-up over here and go ahead and check install as fabric mod, leave everything else as it is, select game version as 1.19 and what you want to do now is going to click on install and it should download the mod fairly quickly and now it just shows this message to me because that's because I already have it installed but for you it's just going to install and it's not going to say anything like this you can go ahead and close all of this and make sure to have fabric installed as well the download link for fabric will be given in the description down below as well and it's fairly simple to install fabric and once you go ahead and do this uh, you can go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher and now in the minecraft launcher you should directly see iris sensorium for 1.19 which should already be there if you don't see it over here just go and click on installations go and click on new installation and then over here you're going to see release iris fabric loader and then just go and select that any new installation auto you'd like and now what you can do now is just go and click on play after you select the installation you just click on i understand the risk and go and click on play and i'll be right back once i load into minecraft and once you have Minecraft opened up, you can load into a world, go ahead and click on options, video settings, head to shader packs and you can download any shader pack that you would like and apply it over here and then you can go ahead and play Minecraft with good performance as well as really cool looking shaders. Now as you can see, I'm getting well over 200 to 300 FPS actually using these super intensive hue shaders and this is pretty much going to sum it up for this video if you guys did find this video useful make sure to smash that like button subscribe if you aren't already and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video now goodbye